how's it going everybody? Pragmatic Addict here. So, uh, I just got out of my early screening of Violent Night. So, Violent Night is basically, uh, David Harbour plays Santa Claus and the actual Santa Claus. Uh, this is an actual Santa Claus movie. And, uh, while he's delivering presents, uh, night before Christmas, uh, a group of mer of mercenaries break into a rich family's house and they like pose as like caterers to this wealthy family and uh, they end up taking the family hostage because they find out that there are three hundred million dollars in a vault somewhere in the house and uh, uh, what I like about this premise is that before seeing this movie I was like okay this is probably just going to be a fun, goofy, throwaway black comedy. Ninety, nice 90-minute movie, which isn't a bad thing. You know, I just thought it was going to be a fun, throwaway, goofy Christmas comedy. And it is that, but I was actually surprised with how original this was in some ways. So, uh, one thing I do want to mention that uh, will make a lot of sense for those seeing this movie is that this is uh, from the producers of films like the Deadpool series as well as John Wick, uh, Bullet Train, Nobody. And so, with that right there, I'm just like, okay, so this is going to have some pretty gnarly kills, and hopefully it has some comedy that lands. <laughs> but going back to the plot, what I like is that this family that we see, this rich family, uh, it almost reminded me of, like, the family from Krampus, where it's like, you get, like, the civil people, like, the smart people, and they just get the family members that you just fucking hate and you kind of hope that they die and what i want to say is that uh so yeah this film was kind of like from the trailers of site kind of saying like die hard meets home alone uh this does have a lot of home alone references in it which i'm not going to spoil what those are i'm sure you can guess by what that is or you can have a, an idea you know but uh with saying that these home alone uh trends uh that that come into this movie they do have some of the gnarliest kills and some of the just goriest violence whoa and that's what i want to say is like both the violence and the uh comedy in this film i don't think it's always going to be to the standards that people are you know hoping for like for example nobody before i saw nobody i was like oh well i mean i hope it's good and i saw it and i was like whoa that was intense that was that was r-rated now seeing this movie there are jokes in it where i'm just like Yep, I'm, I'm gonna be quoting that now. And then there are kills where I'm like, okay, so this does rank above the gnarliest probably in this producing team's catalog. But in saying that, like, what I wasn't expecting is that this did have a lot of, like, the family kind of Christmas getup. Like, you see a lot of, like, uh, so a lot of the plot is, like, it centers, like, uh, while this family's taken hostage, one of the uh, people in this family is a little girl that happens to be one of the only kids left on Santa's nice uh, list. And uh, what I liked about this uh, film is that it was kind of like, to me anyway, the Santa Claus meets Bad Santa meets, uh, what was it, uh, nobody. And uh, that is in the sense of like, so David Harbour, he, the Santa he plays, he plays the actual Santa Claus, but like, you'll see him at like, bars drinking and shit like the night before christmas and there's like other people like dressed up as santa claus and they're like oh yeah i know how it is man like i know it the shit that you deal with and it's like all these like mall santas and shit that don't realize that they're talking to the real santa and uh what how this film opens up is like we see uh david harbour's santa saying that like this might be the last christmas with santa like he's just kind of fed up every year kids stop believing in christmas and then this one girl that you know, hugely believes in Christmas, uh, he, uh, while he's delivering presents to this girl's, uh, house, coincidentally, an army of fucking mercenaries breaks in and holds his family hostage, and Santa just gotta take them out one by one with Christmas magic. It sounds goofy, and that's kind of, like, what I was hoping for, and it, this movie is. This does not feel like a Christmas film to come out in Christmas 2022. This feels like a nice throwback Christmas comedy. Like, it's 90 plus minutes. Uh, it's very silly. It has, you know, an actual Santa character in the film. Uh, the movie does have, like, that, you know, again, classic cringe throwaway, like, Christmas family nonsense where, you know, like, uh, like this kid's, like, belief in Santa will, you know, help him kind of, like, have magic that he can use to, like, take down people and uh, the more that people don't believe in Santa throughout the night, uh, you know, the 
less powerful he is. So while he's taking down these uh, bad guys and stuff, he's trying to convince them that he is the real Santa. So it, it, it does have like a lot of like c like classic tropes in it. And some, you know, even to the group where I'm like, look, for a black comedy, you know, gory <laughs> Christmas film about Santa killing people, I don't think we needed that to this level. But it still works because of how surprisingly the writing actually is. Again, there's a, there's a lot of inconsistencies throughout the story that you just kind of got to go with where you're just like, oh, okay, that's traditional, that's classic. We see that in a Christmas movie every fucking year. But, like, with this kind of premise and this kind of genre, it gets away with it because there is, you know, still plenty of, like, you know, kills and violence and comedy. Again, not, you know, some that always reaches that level of, like, you know, what people are going to be hoping for, even from, like, you know, the producers of, like, Deadpool, for example, like, that film's, you know, comedy or, you know, nobody's, uh, you know, violence. But, like, it still works just because, again, it's, it's just a nice disposable easy 90 minute plus Christmas goofy movie like <laughs> I know there's like a lot of words coming out of my mouth but it just it was nice to sit in a theater watch a Christmas film like this and just not really give a shit like even the shit that didn't work you're just like it's a Santa Claus killing people <laughs> what <laughs> how how critical do you want to be of this movie and again you know there are a lot of consistencies with this plot but, you know, and, and even, like, for, like, a film that is this ridiculous, I do think that it could have been a little bit better, you know, as far as, like, the violence and the comedy at times. And, again, you know, like, the classic, cram like, family Christmas bullshit about, you know, child, like, believe like children believing in Santa and, like, that giving him power to, like, fight people. Like, I think that's cheesy enough for this you know, like, I think that lands just about right for this film's sake. But I do think that, like, you know, again, uh, for the violence and comedy as far as that goes, I don't think it is going to be all the way to what people expect. But there are definitely, you know, kills in here that I'm going to remember. Definitely comedy where, you know, I'm going to quote these jokes from here on out. And overall, I am feeling a solid mix to positive review, but an overall pass. This is nothing, you know, this is not, like, going to be the next you know, Christmas movie where you're going to watch it every December. But, you know, for its source material and for, you know, it, its premise, I think that, you know, the things that don't work in this movie, you know, they, they, they get a pass just like the things in this movie that do work. But overall, guys, yes, that is going to be my review for Violent Night. This film comes out in a couple days. Uh, I think uh, it comes out everywhere on the second, but, you know, Thursday night premieres, you'll be able to see it on the first. But yes, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this review down below. Uh, I hope that you guys see this movie. It is a fun, just kind of, you know, goofy time at the theaters. You know, no harm, no foul, just... I find Christmas comedy at the, at the theaters. But yes, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this review. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys are having a great night. Take care.